Hey everybody, Brian Horvath here. Excited to be with you for today's LinkedIn Live Q&A. Every Wednesday we get to do this thing and, and glad that you're here. We got a lot to cover today, so let's jump into it. Today we're gonna talk about the three things you must know about the LinkedIn algorithm. The LinkedIn algorithm, which could freak out a lot of people, but today we're not gonna let it. We're gonna help you know the things you must know to be able to use it to your advantage and for your success. Ultimately seeking to serve those who need most what you do best and uh, looking forward to sharing that with you today. So don't forget, every Wednesday, we have live at noon, an opportunity for you to get onto LinkedIn Live Q&A and send me your questions. The results of these questions or the, the result of me receiving these questions are what gets presented on the show each and every week. And sometimes there's um, a backlog of things that need to get answered. But uh, a lot of times you'll find if you check out my YouTube channel, you'll see a lot of different LinkedIn answers for you within some of the videos that have already been posted that were once lives and then been uh, edited down a little bit for you to see um, at, your, uh, at your leisure on my YouTube channel. And that's youtube.com. Um, actually, we'll make it even easier for you. Go to brianhorvath.com slash YouTube, and that will take you to the channel. And the playlist or the, um, uh, yeah, the playlist you're going to want to use is how to make the right connections on LinkedIn. And you'll see a ton of videos I've been doing there, like 20 some, 23 videos or so to help you walk through um, navigating LinkedIn and making it work just for you. But again, thank you for those who submit questions. These questions generate answers that get presented on the show. And if you're watching now on YouTube or on Facebook or whatever, or even Twitter, I think now, um, you can go ahead and post your question and that should drop into my comments even while we're on this live show. And as it makes sense and when appropriate, I'll get to those um, as well. So thanks for being here today. So again, every Wednesday, each Wednesday at noon, answering your LinkedIn questions on these channels below. And I just let you know what those are. Those are the addresses. So you can take a screenshot of that or go ahead and um, maybe you're already on the channel of your choice already and you don't need to do anything with this. You just maybe need to set your calendar. Um, so glad that you're here. Today's topic, like I said, is going to be how you can, well, the three things you must know about the LinkedIn algorithm. Usually I call these things how-tos, but this is a how-to as well. But these are three things I want to share with you that you must know about the LinkedIn algorithm, again, to help you with your LinkedIn success. A quick review, as we do every week from last week's video, is last week we talked about something I really love, is how to build the ultimate LinkedIn profile. And I presented to you a framework for you to be able to utilize. It doesn't have to be done in a day, but over time, continually chiseling out from the big rock that is LinkedIn and making it your own um, kind of... Uh, piece of art, if you will, your ultimate LinkedIn profile, the one that suits you, the one that helps you make the right connections on LinkedIn, the one that helps you showcase your value, how you're seeking to serve, to add value to the marketplace, um, sharing with those uh, what you do, but sharing with those who need most what you do best. That's the blessing and the beauty of LinkedIn. It's kind of like your career webpage, right? So I want to help you be able to do that. And the framework that we shared last week is right here in front of you, um, starting from top to bottom. And again, there could be a little um, intricacies that don't apply to you or little bells and whistles that uh, you haven't quite um, needed to apply yet or whatnot. But in this case, the ultimate LinkedIn profile framework starts with a cover, cover image through the keyword title all the way down to your hobbies and personal interests. So definitely want to take a screenshot of this as something that you can continue to check off as you um, go throughout creating your profile from scratch, or you're building your profile or showing a career transition or maybe a job transition or maybe even you're going into full on entrepreneurship. These are all elements of an ultimate LinkedIn profile that will serve you best, helping those um, see what you do best, helping those see how you add value, helping those people see in the marketplace how you solve problems that exist. The ultimate LinkedIn profile framework. Take a picture of that, use it, um, put it up on your desktop, take a you know picture, print it, whatever you need. Um, I have a tattoo of it on my left arm. Just kidding. But um, this is something that I think will really suit you and, and help you reduce anxiety, reduce stress, knowing that you're making moves in the right directions by using this framework as a way to set your tone, set your pace for being able to have the ultimate LinkedIn profile. Awesome. Today's topic, like I said, is the three things you must know about the LinkedIn algorithm. The three things you must know about the LinkedIn algorithm. And what is an algorithm, right? An algorithm is basically a set of computations, equations, providing a result from input that's provided from a user 
and um, the computer takes it, does all its algorithms, all I mean, all its computations, all its equations, all its mathematic, uh, you know, uh, mathematics, and spits out a result on the other side. The LinkedIn algorithm is the foundation of how LinkedIn works, from the input it receives to the output it provides, and everything in between. So we don't need to get all worried about techno babble and what the computation actually is or how it all works um, from a mathematic standpoint, but from what you can control, I want to help you control it. What you can't control, well, you just can't. You can't control the fact that LinkedIn's algorithm is what it is. And you can't control the fact that LinkedIn's algorithm could change at any given time or day without notice, right? They don't owe that to us. This is not our real estate. We are positioning our profile on LinkedIn's technical real estate or internet real estate that we don't own. But the algorithm is an important lever, if you will. It's an important piece. If you're going to be successful with LinkedIn, if you're going to make the most out of LinkedIn, if you're going to make the right connections on LinkedIn, you got to know a little bit about this algorithm. So when you go and putting in what you can control into the platform, then you will get better results on the other side. Um, you may have heard, right? Bad data in, bad data out, right? Whatever we put in our mind, it's what we get out. Whatever we're going to put into our algorithm, that's what we're going to, or to the LinkedIn algorithm, that's what we're going to get out. So let's take advantage of it. And you got to know enough about it to be dangerous. I'm going to help you do that today. How does an algorithm affect my LinkedIn profile visibility? Again, I just kind of said that. What you put in is what you get out. And the three things I'm going to share with you, the three musts, are going to play into what you can control. What you can control. And this goes for a lot of social media, but specifically here we're talking about LinkedIn. How you take advantage of the platform is based on what you're willing to do, what you're willing to put in, and, and what your net result is that you're hoping for. And it's kind of like we need to reverse engineer it at times. You know, How do we take what we want our result to be and how do we reverse engineer it to what we need to be doing to get that end result? And with the algorithm, knowing what I'm going to share with you today is going to help you get the most bang for your buck, the most output for your input, the most return on your investment of time, money, resources, because you could always be doing something else, right? You always could be, um, you know, we always have an opportunity cost for our time. We always have an opportunity cost for our money. We can't use it in multiple places at once. So if we use it one place, we can't use it in the other place. That's what's called what opportunity cost, right? So with the algorithm, I want to help you make the most out of the opportunity, costing you little, but returning you a lot. So the three things you must know about the LinkedIn algorithm, the three things you must know. Number one, the algorithm is based on keywords. So what I'm going to do here for you is give you these three things, and then I'm going to help you take some necessary action steps um, to, to um, make the most out of it. Okay. So let me go ahead and just pare this down a little bit so you can see me. Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Um, what you want to do is remember that keywords are very, very important. I've said this on many recordings, keywords in LinkedIn are like a currency. These are, this is a huge opportunity for you when you know your keywords, when you're using the keywords in the right places in the right way for you to be able to maximize the LinkedIn algorithm. So what are keywords? Keywords are basically words that help you get more in, more views on your profile. No matter if it's a recruiter, a real person typing in the search box, what they are looking for. So let's take a step back. They get a job requisition and then they get the job description and then they want to fill that requisition based on the job description. So they'll go out and search for people like you, people like me, based on what that job description has in it. Do you have those same keywords that that job description has in your profile? That is the importance of keywords. Is your headline communicating the right keywords is your about section or summary section or your job descriptions from the past or your endorsements all that framework i shared with you a little bit ago are those things communicating are those ringing the bell for you to have the right eyes on your profile so for recruiters to go search they're typing in what they get from the job description to fill that job requisition so they can be you know they can add value to their organization and they're trying to find people like you Keywords help them make an easier match. The right keywords in the right places will help you be on the right pages of the search results. And the page you want to be on is numero uno, page number one, right? You don't want to be on page seven. No one clicks on the pizza shop on page seven in Google when they're looking for a local pizza shop while they're on vacation. You want to be on the top. And the way to do that is to have your keywords 
consistent in the right places. And we're going to, that's con continually what we'll talk about when it comes to LinkedIn. Keywords is LinkedIn currency. Okay. The best keywords get the best play. The best keywords or the right keywords in the right places get the most views, the most action being taken upon them. You want to have the right keywords. So, and the algorithm that's part of the computation, part of the equation is for LinkedIn is our do you have the right keywords? Are they in the right places? The second is based on activity. What do I mean by activity? Well, I have a profile. No, I'm talking about more than that. Not just having a LinkedIn profile, but having a LinkedIn profile that's active. Being um, someone that's logging in, someone that's making tweaks and changes to their profile, someone that is connecting or making connection requests. That's the kind of activity we're talking about. Are you receiving requests? Are you making requests? Are you letting requests that have asked of you hang up and sit in a queue? Are you actively going through them? Are you active? Are you taking, um, taking action? Are you taking steps towards continually building your profile, continually interacting with other people on the platform? Are you writing content? Maybe you're writing posts, things that you see out there in the world that you're sharing. You think will add value based on your industry experience or the industry relevance. Those are all kinds of activities. Are you liking posts that you're seeing? Are you liking the social feed that is in front of you? Are you sharing content you think that would benefit those that are connected with you? Okay. Are you um, adding value in that way? Are you commenting on posts that you see in your feed? Okay. Are you following people and connecting with people? These are the kind of actions on LinkedIn. Nobody wants to sit next to a bump in the log of the party. Nobody wants to be next, you know, going to the party with a wallflower. Don't be a LinkedIn wallflower. <laughs> be engaged. Be interactive. Take risks on your ego and on yourself and make comments. Knowing that farewell, they can come back. Um, you know, people want to come back with you, just, you know, come back to you with something or whatnot. But take risks on yourself. Share comments. Make the most of your posts and be active. Okay, be active. We're going to talk about some next steps here in a little bit for you to do that and to not have to go from zero to hero in a matter of hours here or as soon as this video ends. The algorithm is based on activity. You know, are you having fun? Are you riding the bench or are you being involved? Are you getting into the game? Obviously, any kind of social media platform wants us to be engaged. They want us to be active. They want us to be in it. They want us to see advertising, right? It's free to us. So, you know, they... They have ways to make it pay for it, be paid for, and that's with advertising, right? And so any platform wants its ego to be stroked. Okay. You don't have to go clicking on the ads or buying the stuff or whatever, but you do need to be connecting. You do need to be integrating. You need to be working with recruiters. You need to be um, inviting people to connect with you. You need to be following company pages and just take advantage of those kinds of things that are out there for you. And you don't have to do it haphazardly. You want to do it with intention. You want to do it with a mindset that you're seeking to serve. You want to do it with a mindset that you're looking to grow and advance in your career. And you want to build your online network intentionally. Okay. This is just some of the things to think about. So algorithms based on keywords. The algorithm is based on activity. And the third is the algorithm is based on relevancy. What does that mean? Relevancy. You want to have certain interactions with people that are industry relevant, people that are maybe locally relevant, maybe in your city or state, people that are relevant to you with regards to maybe a university or some kind of affi uh, uh, affiliation or affinity. Those kinds of things are relevant, right? You want to kind of be a part of um, people's networks that are not just within your industry, but also widespread. Okay. And be consistent or excuse me, be intentional with building your network beyond your industry as well. Okay. But also being relevant is being connected to a lot of folks that are in the same kinds of positions of you as you currently being connected to folks that want to be, or that you in positions you want to be in down the road. And it really takes a little bit of a forward thinking as you build your network and being relevant. Another way to be relevant, and of course I've alluded to this earlier a little bit, is with your activity, is also being able to post, make comments on things that are relevant, that are hot right now, or trending, things like that to stay, um, stay included. Another way to be relevant is to tag people within your post, people that you want to celebrate, recognize, include, or invite to join the conversation. That's another way to be relevant. Okay. Another way to be relevant is to connect with folks who are in circles of influence. Okay. 
Is there somebody that you're following on Facebook? Is there somebody that you're following that, or, you know, you've subscribed to their product or service or, or purchased their product or service? Are they on LinkedIn? Go find them, follow their page, invite them to connect, send them a special message, use in mail, whatever the case may be, in mail is that special in, uh, special mail that you can get right to someone's inbox without having to be a connection, right? So take advantage of being relevant, be available, be in tune with what's going on with industry trends for your industry be a part of groups is another way to be active by the way but also be relevant you know speak in those groups make comments maybe post a video or do whatever it makes sense of how it makes sense for you and what you do and where you want to go be relevant don't be stagnant be consistent be intentional be active use keywords be relevant these all dovetail together so just some things i want you to think about the three things you must know about the linkedin algorithm if you're going to get it to work for you you need to have keywords you need to be active and you need to be relevant a final tip on how to be relevant would be to have keywords in your profile that help you connect with recruiters recruiters hiring managers key people of influence in your industry, people that would hire you. If you're a job seeker or if you're someone looking to grow your network, having words like COO, CEO, CFO, vice president of marketing, vice president of sales, even though you've not held those positions, have those words in your profile that will allow the LinkedIn algorithm to pick up similar words in your profile that others have in theirs. Case in point, if I want to be recognized for sales and marketing by a Fortune 500 company and I'm looking for a position with one of those companies, I want to have the title of that role of the person that would eventually hire me, and potentially even interview me in my profile so that I, the algorithm in LinkedIn, can see the profile from the vice president of sales and marketing who's looking to hire someone like me, can see those words in their profile as well as in mine. So VP of sales and marketing that I want to connect with, and I have those words in my profile, my own personal profile for LinkedIn, that that VP of sales and marketing at the company I'm going to go work for obviously has it in theirs. LinkedIn finds that as a relevant match. So if you have keywords and you're active in the right circles and you have these words like other people you want to connect with have in their profile, even though you've not had those specific positions yourself, that gets you a bump up in search results. And I learned that from Greg Wells years ago, a guy that mentored me about how to coach people using LinkedIn. And folks, I've been coaching people on LinkedIn since 2013. It's now 2021. 2013, 135 million people are on the platform. Today, over 740 million people are on the platform. This stuff is not going away. And the cool thing, one extra little bonus tip, is that all this stuff adds up to for you to be able to better even network in person. LinkedIn is a great testing ground for you to network online. So then later on, we can network in person just as effectively and efficiently. LinkedIn is a great place to have that um, starting point, if not um, anything else. Okay, so good stuff. So what are we going to do with this stuff, Brian? Well, I want to give you some action steps with this LinkedIn algorithm. So for keywords, I want to encourage you today to take advantage of what you just learned and put this into work right now. So if you need to pause this, if you're watching this recording, pause it. Live, well, you're gonna have to wait a couple minutes, but um, keywords, what are you gonna do? Your action should be to come up with a keyword rich headline, a keyword rich headline, no more than four keywords in your headline right now. If you don't have a keyword rich headline that stands out for people to see you and recognize you as someone they want to connect with, you need to do that right away. I see too many headlines with a ton of keywords in it, just looks like a hot mess. And I've seen too many that just say their current job. Even if you want to stay in your current job, change your LinkedIn profile to include the keywords that would best represent what you do in your current role or where you want to go or a combination thereof of where you're at and where you want to go. Okay. Take a look example at my headline at Brian, um, excuse me, linkedin.com slash in slash the Brian Horvath. And you'll see what I'm talking about as an example, but your action is to put some keywords, four keywords, a short four keywords into your headline right away. That's your first action. So that's going to help you with the algorithm because your headline is huge. It's paramount. It's, it's held in high regard. And it's at the top of your page. It's what people see when they search, right? They see your picture, they see your name, and they see your headline. Activity 
is another step I want you to take your action today for your activity is I want you to go comment on three to five posts. Go like three to five posts. Go share at least one post. And when you share, don't just share it. Make an introduction to it while you're sharing it. Okay, which means you have to read it, <laughs> which means you have to check it out a little bit, right? You can't just, um, just well, you can't just share, but the better way to do it is to share, even add a hashtag or two based on things that you'd like to be known for, okay, or you think it's relevant to, which leads me to my next one, which is relevancy. So your action is today to go put into your summary section a couple keywords for people that would interview you for your next role or for people that would um, hire you for your next role. So for me, being a speaker, consultant, and coach, I may want to work with um, business owners or entrepreneurs or CEOs or whatever. Then I want to put a little call to action statement with, um, with the CEO's title in my about section, in my about section, something that will allow me to be recognized as having CEO in my profile by CEOs that are CEOs of companies and they have that in their profile. This relevancy opportunity creates an algorithm like just a, um, like hot sauce, man. It allows you to be quickly escalated and elevated up the list to be found quicker when you have similar words to those folks that you would want searching for you, that you would want hiring you, that you would want interviewing you. I hope this makes sense. Email me if it's a little um, tricky for you if you need a little bit more clarification. But relevancy is an algorithm little hack that allows you to be recognized quickly by those that you want seeing your profile. Okay, so they can click your profile, so they can take steps with you and make um, and take advantage of your call to action that you have in your profile. And I share about that in other videos. All in all, taking action steps a little bit over time, daily, not in a day, but every day, taking steps that will help you have the ultimate LinkedIn profile to help you make the most out of the LinkedIn algorithm. And most of the stuff isn't changing. Keywords are not going to change. Being active on the platform is not going to change. Calling out those you want to connect with you, that relevancy piece, that's not going to change. There's other little things that may change. It may, things may change on what kind of content gets elevated higher or lower and all that kind of stuff if you're a content creator like I am. But as far as connecting with the right people and making the right connections on LinkedIn, these things are solid. These are foundational elements of social media and specifically within the world's largest professional network that LinkedIn is. These are going to help you hit home runs. Okay. And you're going to start seeing turning up the heat on your uh, profile activity. You're going to start seeing more people connect with you. But you have to take a risk on yourself. You have to take a risk on your ego. You have to take a risk on the old standard standby that may or may not be working for you. I want to help you crank it up. Turn up the dial. Let's make this happen. What are you going to be doing in 2022 that's different than 2021? Or are you going to get the same old results in 2022 as you have in 2021? Because you're not willing to change. I'm getting a little bit on my soapbox, but I want to encourage you to take advantage of these three little things, these three must-knows about the LinkedIn algorithm, and you will see a difference. I guarantee it. Okay? I guarantee it. So good stuff. Those are your those are your takeaways. So again, if you have questions more in depthly about this algorithm, if you have questions more in depthly about LinkedIn in any way, shape, or form, or networking in general, whether online or in person, email me. I'll be glad to share the answer to that question on the show. Email me your questions to Brian at brianhorvath.com brian at brianhorvath.com hey so i really want to share with you guys something very exciting i have coming out in january of 2022 it's called the ultimate linkedin profile it's going to take all these videos all these trainings all these lessons in a more systematic and more in-depth way to help you make the right connections on linkedin and right now i'm just offering up to you an opportunity to grab the wait list get on the wait list go into a simple uh, url right there you see in front of you horvathtraining.com slash waitlist and then you'll find a place to drop your email address in where you'll be um, recognized and organized organized into a um, my little system here to let you know about upcoming announcements for the launch in January 2022, including a founding members launch. It's going to be able to offer a super sweet discount and opportunity for you to take advantage of getting aboard early and helping me make this course the best ever, the ultimate LinkedIn profile. Hope you join the waitlist today. You can do that again at horvathtraining.com slash waitlist. And again, we'll see you next week, if not sooner.